everybody. This is a new episode of West, West of Loathing. Everything <laughs> I wanted to say went completely out of my brain as soon as I started talking. So I'm going to start over. <laughs> Howdy, partners. Welcome to the next episode of... God damn it. I keep wanting to say next episode of Just Press Next. Welcome back to that this episode cool. of West of Loathing with Just Press Next. You're we excited to keep going, <laughs> and I am awful at this game. Anyway, last time on West of Loathing. Yes, we collected all the horses, and then we bought a horse, and then we got Susie's shotgun, and we crabbed off through the bar. Oh, sorry. She might rifle. slap you. It's a rifle. She might. Still <laughs> smells like brand new horse, too. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, what are we working on next here? What was our next? I think so we were gonna go look for right through it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What? I said so brand new for the horse. You can see right oh, through yeah. it. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think we were gonna go look for places to dig since we got that shovel. Okay. Yeah. Did we do the one in town here? We did the one in town, and then we also did the one in the boneyard. So I think. Oh, we and have... the mine. Oh, Fricker oh, game. We, we have to check the game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember if there was one or not. Eh. Won't hurt to roughage through it anyway. Yeah, deal. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's gone. He Sophie is. left. Sophie's gone. Oh, I bet you he's in the. I bet you he's in the. Hell. Yep. <laughs> no, I bet you he's in the sh <laughs> sheriff's office. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, I guess there's nothing to dig up here. Well, it was worth a shot. Check out Soapy. Right, so what do we got left? I wonder if he got, uh... Oh. He didn't get anyone. Oh. How's it going? Leaning rightly. <laughs> oh. What a good conversation. Okay. Give it about a week. Okay, well, whatever. Guess we'll just have to screw that up later. Yeah, we're just gonna skip this. God damn it, Brave. <laughs> we don't want to trade... Oh! Even though I'm pretty sure we, his name is not right. We can't do it. It's always we said. Can't it always do says they're lost. To... No, I thought there was. I thought no, the all was over the door last time. That's why I was. Oh. oh no, it's been over right. Alice's name. Hmm. Well, do we want to just get rolling then, or? Uh, well, we can do the the basement thing. Oh yeah, we didn't. I didn't actually oh, check okay. the basement. I just got the newspaper in the basement of the bar. Is there anything we can do with that sleeping guy in the corner? Is that just nothing at all? That might just be nothing. I think he's just sleeping. Yep. You fucking lazy bastard. Wow. Sorry. Back then, that was their home. The bar? Yeah. Not that. Great place to live. <gasps> Grab a bottle of Nurse Whiskey. Nurse Whiskey! Go oh! to Alice! Go to Alice! Go to Alice! Did we? I'm not going to say it. Let's just go. Because technically... She shut herself in and was not going to talk to anyone except for Nurse Whiskey. Whiskey. And we had Nurse Whiskey. Offer Whiskey. Yes! Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. What's brand? Nurse Whiskey. <laughs> your favorite. <laughs> I'm led to believe. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. You hear a rattle as she unlocks the door. Enter the house. What's brand? <laughs> 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 Doc Alice looks to be about in her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp. If bloodshot, she holds out her hands. Whiskey, stit! Give it to her. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small <laughs> flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Okay, point taken. I love this doc. <laughs> hey, Doc, can I look at your books? <laughs> sure, if you want to. Not that they're going to do you much good in this doomed, forsaken hellhole. Should, you should try being less cheerful, Doc. Check out the books. You survey the books on Alice's shelf. They're all medical textbooks except for a few. Leaf through Legend of Curly's Meat. Leaf ah. through Life of <gasps> Wood. Do the goblinoid tongues! Sorry. Oh, it's crying. You start flipping through the Goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed But by a tiny break from reading, several blurfs have passed, and you also know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. You have learned to speak goblin, sort of. You've got a word goblin tongue. Well, I guess you can read all of them. Okay. 
<laughs> the Legend of Curly's Meat. The book Ooh. tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, <gasps> secreted in a hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the... Oh, secreted. <laughs> you... Glad they clarified the for opposite. me. <laughs> meat secreted in the western... <laughs> Desert by an old cow hand named Curly Butterfield. I hate it when people secrete premium meat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you would call the meat sweats? Ooh. Yeah. Awesome. Great metal band name. <laughs> Secreted premium meat. Oh my god. You can thank me for that one. <laughs> this book purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad. So, it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Ha <laughs> ha! At least there are some <laughs> useful appendices in the bag and some diagrams of appendices. Yeah, okay. Mm. Progress toward next skill. Make like a tree and leaf. <laughs> this fanny doesn't look like it sees much use. Green little. Grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows. Hey! Okay. Gotta keep up that good old west appearance. God damn right. So, uh, Oh, okay. Stop! I know! And you yell at me. spotless. Either that? she's really <laughs> impulsive about cleaning or she never works. Never. I don't know what that says. Cooks! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. This shouldn't be. Or shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Nope. Doc Alice continues to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe. Um, is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so... She glares at you meaningfully. I love this chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart, and you just ask what's the matter. Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking? Why don't you go ahead and pick one, and I'll drink to that. Dead men walking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you fought fucking skeletons and you're gonna question dead men walking. I mean... Apparently. I, I didn't write <laughs> this. I'm just reading what it says. Well, no, I get that. And I'm not attacking you like your Bertha. Hold although on. you do have the hat on. Hold <laughs> on. You haven't seen it? Corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with the half their strings cut looking to take a bite out of the living? Oh, Yeah. There was that skeleton in the cemetery. I'm sorry, I didn't know fucking Bertha's short-term memory was shit. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients? Oh, ouch. Doc Alice turns away, grimacing. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterward and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Missy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um... Um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Hmm. Can we just say she did say husbands? Right. How many times has she been married? <laughs> I don't even... Oh, okay. Oh! Doc Alice sighs exasperately. Lately. What now? TNT. Seriously, what is with that? <laughs> What's the deal with all the TNT? It's so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself into bits so small there won't be nothing left to come back. That seems... Drastic. Drastic? Hell! No way am I taking the risk of becoming one of those... things. Fair enough, I suppose. I mean, I get it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna judge you. Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor? What is it? It's when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Err. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that there's a fella out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like green bean slingers we use? I never heard of any bean slingers or raising the dead, have you? Her scowl deepens. That'd have been one hell hell of a can of beans. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I 
Do we want to see if she's got anything else to say? Um, I think that was it. No. Oh, wait! About the necromancer. We can no. get more information. Assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. Oh, shit, Bertha. That's some smart thinking. <laughs> Doc Alice gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you, or you? Yeah, why not you? Why not you? A gray-haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You aren't that old. Oh, butter And up. if I were going to pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who also knows a bit about death in a scientific way. A doctor, right? Doc Alice stares at you hard and takes a swig from her bottle, saying nothing. And it sounds to me like you've got plenty of motivation to get the job done for your friends and... And everyone. She continues to look at you. You can see the gears turning in her head. <laughs> I just picture her, like, staring like... <laughs> I can see it. All pissed beats, off. <laughs> beats you with nothing, anyway. Beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doing any doctorate anymore. She winces and looks away. Then she shakes her head slowly. You <clears throat> seriously expect me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor? Doesn't have to be by yourself. Ooh, this is the beginning of a love story. <laughs> I'm heading west, too. Tag along with me, and maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. It's crazy. Impossible. Impossible like raising the dead is impossible? Impossible Alice... like getting lost in your eyes impossible? Oh my God. Stop right now. Alice crosses her arms and regards you thoughtfully. A spark slowly brightens in her eyes. Yes. All right, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Well, I guess I know who's coming with us, huh? Cool. <laughs> After all that, I mean, this cool. is so Think unfair. Look at all the people that want to come with us, and you only have to choose one. What the hell is this? Well, you got crazy ass fucking Pete, who's a really good compete for actually coming with us. Like, yeah, but then you got old Dead Ringer, uh, whatever Susie. the hell, yeah, Susie, or you got a chick that's probably fun to party with and knows how to drink. <laughs> you know my vote. Well, and hope, fingers crossed, there's going to be a can fourth we, option. Can we, um? Be- before we before we suggest her, can we go take care of yes, the goblin? Yes, that's what I'm doing next. Okay. Yeah. On our way to the basement. I'm trying to get <laughs> My brain said goblin and my mouth said basement and then it came out. Goblin. And. Look at all. Oh, I wish I was still riding my thing. Goblin shouts, I'm Gary! Uh, er, hi, Gary. Hi! Hi, hello! Hello, I'm Gary. Who are you? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Well, I'm Bertha. Hi! Or hello! <laughs> hello, Bertha. Good to meet you. What Bertha doing down here? Be polite or be honest? Uh, be honest. Straight up honesty. Well, Gary, to be honest, the bartender sent me down here to... to kill you. Gary wrinkles his nose. Hey, what? That being terrible idea. Bartender not being good idea, man. <laughs> Gary wants to be popping, but not here. Too close. Too close to home. Gary wants to be popping far up and high away. He's, he wants to popping, not to be popping. He wants to popping. New Gary <laughs> everywhere. 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 Man. Goblins are freaking weird. <laughs> settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settling. Gary wants to traveling and popping. If Bertha going far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? Eh? <laughs> I'll think about it. And there's option number four. Let's take Gary. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, hey. Oh, it's you. Gary traveling with you? Far up and high away? Going, going, going? I'll let you know, Gary. <laughs> I, I can see Gary getting annoyed. Yeah, people but he's... be the same way, though. Yeah, true. So what do you think? I don't know, I mean, a goblin seems good. I mean, probably good for fighting and shit, but, uh... I don't know. My, my vote is gonna be Gary or Alice. Those are my votes. Mm. I'm gonna have to agree. But mm. now we have to pick one. Actually, see where John... How do we lies. pick? Who's got a coin? I don't have a coin. Oh, wait! I found a coin! Woo! We didn't to discuss who was which what. One's which one's which? Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Gary is heads, Alice is tails. Tails. 
Okay. Alice <laughs> and Bertha are going to fall in love. <laughs> Whatever convinces you that Alice is a great choice. Everything so far. Wait, what did you say to me? I don't know. Click Alice. <laughs> Take Doc Alice. You know, you knock on Alice's door and tell her it's time to go. Hit the trail. Oh, one last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to decide for yourself where your XP gets spent? Spending it manually. Okay. With, with a great mustache comes great responsibility. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Uncle Ben. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy my rice. <laughs> And my nephew, Peter Parker. <laughs> and that was the thing that happened. Okay, you now have the option of turning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Open your character screen when you want to spend XP. Check your map. You consult the Southwest map the Hossler gave you. It only lists two things. Town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. Uh, you discover those things that I just read. Head for Dirtwater. <laughs> Ooh, look at this lady. Day one. Oh, that's the Alice. The first day of the rest of your life. All right. <laughs> Alice is freaking out over here. It's your partner. Talk. What's up, Doc? You're up yeah, there. Okay. Mustachio. Just conven conveniently works. You've consistently been Alice. Okay. If we're going to look into this necromancer business, I figure we ought to start with a look with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. Do you know where they are? Yeah. I did some research into the territory cemeteries a while back. Territory cemeteries. Territory cemeteries. To see if there was a pattern. You okay? Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, there's one not too far from here. <laughs> you discovered a new map location. The day yard. What do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting about anything? It sounds like an awesome bar to go watch sports. <laughs> Fucking come to the day yard. <laughs> what do you think we should do next? Well, if you're looking to find out the lay of the land, I'd guess a railroad crew would be able to give you a fairly literal interpretation. Makes sense, or any other ideas? Makes sense. Okay. Now let's go oh, roam. Okay. How? She's a ghost? I don't know. She gave me the option. I do. Or some her manes as you approach. We combed her mane, and now she mays with wispy gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Happy yeah. horse, happy life. Yes. Cause we're going in here. Look at this guy's mustache. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Bertha. Glad to know you, Bertha. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. <laughs> what can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Saw the sign out front advertising a room. Need any help with anything? I'll have a shot of bourbon. See you later. See you later, Lloyd. <laughs> bourbon. Lloyd. I'll have a shot of bourbon. Coming right up. You lose five meat. You get an item. Dirt water bourbon. Anything else? Hmm. hmm. Saw the sign out front. Need any help? Yeah. Saw so, that the first one. Number sure. one. Yeah. Sure. Saw a sign out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house. And plenty of room for your partner too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fellow, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Wow! Gratis. <laughs> wow, great! <laughs> How convenient! You jackass. This gal, that gal only looks like she's in the mood to t Oh. That's Susie. It no. seems like if you're at that end of the bar, you don't want to talk to anybody. That's fair. Mm -hmm. This is a spittoon, which is sort of a brass <clears throat> bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say, despite knowing that you're pretty intimate, intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko. <laughs> one time. Maybe one time. Inspector, leave alone. Inspect! Come on. Look, the Jewel <laughs> Saloon is a pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. <laughs> but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Tobacco? Inspect. 
here we go again. All right, fine. Now you are hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which probably has never been cleaned or emptied mm. because you're near the desert and the ambient, ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the split evaporates nearly as quickly as it's accumulated. So that's good, right? Yep. No, that's bad, because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarettes, but cigarette butts into this tune anymore, because they bounce out. Oh, yes. Search it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. <laughs> yep. Glorp. Ugh. That made me, like, nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm, lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, then set it on fire. It smells like your, it feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep it up! We're already in! Keep searching. You found something. Uh, you found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. Oh. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them. Ah. <laughs> you got an item. Filthy porcelain cow. Hooray! Nice! Oh, this guy over here. <clears throat> the old man stares off into the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react to you at all. What an Ooh. asshole. Well, he's old. The piano player is not very good at his job. That sucks. Man points to the sign on the counter. Slot, five meat. Wanna buy some slot? No? Why the fuck would anybody want anything called slot? Yeah. So you're too busy washing dishes. Pay That's like you. fine cuisine back then. Ugh. Slot helper. Hey, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. Oh, so you're the nosy type, huh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. Well, as it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm all the saltpeter, and I need someone to go pick me up s some more. Saltpeter? Isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it's used what? to make gunpowder. <laughs> I'm Man, sorry, I don't we know just why. accepted it, so we're just gonna go get salt That's fine. This That's is fine. where the chef goes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Got that salt peter yet? Well, uh, we're going to a place that you can find salt peter apparently. No Some fort. Sure. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Because the one in the right looks like she could kick anyone's ass. So angry. Does <laughs> this one have a hat box too? I don't know. I wasn't oh no! I know why. Wow. Look, look. No, there's not a hat box. Hmm? Nice, that's good bra. No, she doesn't have anything to say to me. Maybe she does. Maybe that's why you two aren't getting along, because you're not willing to communicate. Yeah, I bet. Table is full, empty table. Do we want to play some poker? Play poker? How much meat we got? 780? Damn, that's a lot of meat. We could do a we could do a round. Okay. Right. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Sal, and the player to your left says his name is Walter. The dealer tells you Auntie is twenty meat. Any up? Any up? You any up? Sal and Walter toss in twenty meat each. You lose twenty meat. The dealer gives the deck a shuffle, then deals, and a hand a hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's a really great hand. A pair of kings of di a pair of kings of diamonds and two fours. The rest it's the first round, the pot is sixty meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around forty percent. Yeah. Well, you we don't have that you can either cancel out or just uh, check it. Crit your teeth. Let's check it. Guys. Check. Yeah, you narrow your eyes and check. Ten percent plus ten percent at sale size and raises. Call. Oh. Let's do it. Continue the game. <laughs> it's the second round of betting. The pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around 50%. Moxiously raise, moxiously strategize, check, or fold. Are we good with a 50% chance of winning? Well, I mean, if you add another 10%, that's 60% chance. 
Do you want to check or? or I mean, a... I, that's the I, boring I, route. Let's moxiously strategize. Okay. Well, we don't have to spend more meat to strategize. So. True. Uh, the suit. You cock, you cock your hat at a jaunter angle. Woo! Plus twenty percent chance win. God damn right. Continue nice job, game. dude. That's what I do. <laughs> Uh, it's the last, last round, round of betting. Of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 120 meat. You estimate your chances around 70%. Do we want to cleverly strategize, cleverly raise, or clever? Or, well, I guess we're not going to cleverly check. But. So if we so cleverly strategizing helped us raise our percentage of winning. What but if we not, if we cleverly raise, we're also dueling our mysticality while raising. Correct. Do, do you want to try that? Do I'm it. I'm all about raising. Okay. Do it. Cleverly raise. <clears throat> uh, you're smart enough to know you should raise, so you do, by 20 meat. Reveal your cards. You furrow your brow and you turn over your cards. A Georgia flush. Ooh. Sal sighs and reveals her hand. A California straight. Walter flips his card over one at a time, revealing a reverse flush. You win! Woo! You gather your haul. 180 meat. Yeah! The dealer announces the ante has been raised to 25 meat. Do you want to keep playing? Or we should you? walk away. Take Let's a walk, walk away. away. This was fun. <laughs> we right. could be here for days. Not going to lie. We got, true. Not going to lie. We got lucky. <laughs> do we need to... We got something here. What do we get? Oh, the, the cow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bourbon. We're not going to worry about it. Bourbon. Um, bourbon. Bourbon. We already talked about this. Let's the spell. Tip that chair up. Oh, this I place looking like a ship. Ooh, Ooh, look at an XP. Oh, I thought it was not as close to the door as it was. Well, should we go check something out? Uh, do we want to talk to the bartender again? You can ask him about the dark. Oh, yeah, the. Howdy, Bertha. Anything I get, get for you? Hey, uh, Lloyd. Need any help? Shot of bourbon. Who's the old man by the piano? Can I get some darts? Uh, let's do either three or four. Yeah, let's do the old man. Yeah. Who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody's nobody were buying. Too weird, his stories. Fantastic alike. Too bad I love that stuff. Stupid most stuff for kids. Too bad I love that stuff. I love that stuff. Sure. Too bad. I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now, anyhow. He had to get a normal work. He had to go... He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Jesus Christ. Did passing well as a prospector, till one day he lost his mind in a mine. His mine? mine in a mind. Close. He lost he his what? mine in a mine. He what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely come to that, he just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down, and as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. I feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Need any help, Chugger? Dorts! Dorts. Can I get some darts? Hmm? The sign on the dartboard said see you for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broken months ago. That's disappointing. Need any help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, there's something going wrong with our player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I'd have poked around in it myself, but I lost the key. This has suddenly taken a strange turn. Well, we don't have anything to get inside of it, do we? There's piano... <laughs> You said it. Yep. <laughs> the piano player is not very good at his job. Try to fix him. You lift up the pia player piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his inners. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Break the lock, we can't. So ah. let it be for now. Well, go get some damn needles. Yes. Go here. Perfect! Hello there. Welcome to Dirtwater Muffin Files. Some read provisions, miscellaneous, provender, assorted comment, comestibles, comestibles, various groceries. Oh, alright. Oh, we, yeah, we need better. Buy all of the dynamite. Okay. Well, I mean, there's only four of them. So you need what did you buy? I bought the binoculars. Oh, okay. Modern snake oiler. Do we want this? Alert. Oh, it's a new snake oiler skill. So, yes. 
Yeah. We, we have a shovel, right? Yeah. Yes. Tooth powder. That's going to be a person You know, blood sausages. Okay. I mean, as of right now, I don't think we really need anything. Okay. Yeah, how do we only have 80 meat? Is it just pentacle? Yeah, we spent a lot of money. Make sure you read oh, really? the book. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, there's a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Gives good medicine, a skill that lets you recover HP in combat. There's an article entitled Debilitating Content Co Toxins. Where are they now? <laughs> Gives bad medicine, a combat skill that will reduce a target's moxie. Hmm. Hey, uh, There's a recipe for a quick brew potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit. Gives strong medicine, a combat skill that temporarily increases your muscle, mm. mysticality, and moxie. No. No? It, the time has passed. I was going to make a joke. Oh. I was going to say my love is like bad medicine. God, I hate you. <laughs> Me too. Me too. But All now right. that it's gone, now you can take off. Alright, yeah. Fine. Shut good, up. bad, or strong? I'm leaning towards strong or good. I agree. Because we're going to need the recovery of HP, but also the fact that we can increase our muscle, mysticality, and yeah, oxy in a battle. Yeah. So basically, strong medicine is just going to be a boost in our attack. Yes. Bad medicine is going to take down their defense. Which is. Yeah. yeah. And good medicine's like a recovers. Cure. Correct. Yeah. I mean, good medicine is the obvious choice, but do we really want to just go the let's go the strong. preferred path here? Let's go strong. What do you think? Well, let's go against what we would normally. Yeah, pick, normal. Every saying. now we would always generally. Well, go to be HP. honest, yeah. To be honest, let's go strong medicine then. Yeah, there I'm, you go. I'm for that. Okay. Memorize the flow when you got skill. Strong medicine. Afterwards, we accidentally dropped the magazine in a puddle. Who you Got fucking it. idiot. All right, well, we're going to end that episode here. Stay tuned for the next episode of West of Loathing, and we'll continue our journey westward. I just want to throw in a PS quick. The coach was called C.T. Nelson's Coach. It was an old TV show where Craig T. Nelson played coach. The show was called Coach. Just a little fucking throw that on your IMDb, little movie trivia shit. I would never have seen or cared about that. So thank you for pointing that fun fact out. Fun fact Yay! with John John. <laughs> All, right. All right. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody. East of Lowell, they just pressed the wall. <laughs>